Brazil have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. It's absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. This place is living up to its reputation as one of the noisiest corners of the footballing world. No decibel spared in this collective chorus. And already we're underway here. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? I've got to pick James Rodriguez. They're a good lefty, and then there's the one the Colombian's looking to have. He's in the elite lefties club, which unfortunately I never got near, but he can pick passes most of his peers can't even see. Well, quite no argument from me on that one. That's an excellent interception. And now they can spring out of defence. Succumbs to the pressure. Lucas Paqueta, out to the right. Well, it's gone out again, and so we'll have a repeat corner. They've played it short. Cross to the back post. Brazil really are making good use of that right-hand side. The light is very much the colour green. Look, it's the width that's providing this momentum and, and they look set to further exploit. Really unconvincing right now. It has to start in defence, but the whole team needs a wake-up call. James Rodriguez. Colombia making a good start. Nice level of intensity in their play. Palermo. It has been a rather gentle affair so far. Lerma. Colombia looking to pass their way through. Munoz really was well marshaled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Now it's Diaz. Away from immediate danger. And they've got a throw. Vinicius Junior. And it's played forward. Vinicius Junior. Now it's Rafinha. He's found a way through. No, he wasn't going to let him pass. And he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick.
so we have our breakthrough. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Diaz. Mojica. Mojica goes on a charge down the left. Belts it on the volley! Oh, that is rather wayward. Well, that's why the world say indecision is fatal. Just eases him off the ball. Now it's Diaz. Look at this. Now the finish! And the ball's come loose here. That's going to go a long way. Bruno Guimaraes. He's a sharp little ball here. Oh, shooting chance! Clearly executed that with considerable confidence. It only took seconds to score, which the ball was recovered. And yes, it's him again. So that's two now without reply. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Looks to the other side. Very nicely done. James Rodriguez. Diaz. Shot could be... There's the hit! He has done it! Yeah, the touch before the finish is so often the critical part, and we've just seen an example. Colombia get themselves back into contention. Well, it was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. This game plan could near well reward them with an equaliser. Fiddles it through, and he's onside. Played into the mid towering header. Oh, just needed a better contact. I thought the wing work was A1. The defending and finishing was anything but. Decent progress down the left. Mojica. Delicate ball, and it needs to be. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. Uh, a cause of mild frustration. Rodrigo. Played out to the left flank. Now here's the delivery. And it's kept out by a stubborn defence. He's got the shot! It's in! 
a two-goal lead and they're firmly in control. Vargas, some heroic goalkeeping, but even that couldn't save them this time. Well, that's not the best attempt by the keeper, and he's just paid the ultimate price, hasn't he? And with that, the hat-trick is complete. Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Brazil take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. Look, this position ought to convince them to increase their lead. I think they should uh, be really positive about this now, Peter. Marquinhos. Vinicius Junior. Played out towards the right wing. He's shifting through the gears here. Oh, good spread. And that save goes for the header! I think that's offside. Yes, it is. <laughs> and he's there to get it away. Lucas Paqueta. And that will be the final action of the first half. Well, it's hard to say whether a two-goal advantage under these circumstances is decisive or not, but so far, I haven't really seen enough. And that's the start of another 45 minutes. James Rodriguez. He's made good progress from a deep position. Hit into the middle. Adair Militao knocks it away. And it's James Rodriguez. James Rodriguez, he's going for goal! That's a fine save! The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. And it's been taken short. And it's played into the middle. Expertly cut out, really nicely done. Brazil can start a counter here. Oh, nice touch. Rolls it backwards. Spread out to the left. Rodrigo. Bore. And the counter is on. Now, the less said about that pass, the better. The low, that is pretty much the end of that. Rafinha. Well, Jim, this really does look like a safety in numbers approach to defending we're seeing here. Well, sometimes you just have to prepare for what's coming your way, and they know that they're going to be involved in certainly the next spell of physicality in, in dealing with an aerial approach. Yeah, it's toe-to-toe, -to -toe, bicep to bicep, all about feet and inches. He's had a shot! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Yeah, he may have snatched it down a bit, even though it was quite close.
Gundama. Good spot, he's seen the run. Can he latch on to this? James Rodriguez. James Rodriguez! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Hammers plays it short. They've played it short. Mojica. No way through, so back it comes. Nice ball, and he might be in here. It's anyone's ball now. It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. This is proving to be a very good spell. The intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. And it's Hammers. There's the shot! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. And it's been taken short. Aimed in towards the centre. Brazil can counter promptly here. Excellent challenge there, uncompromising. Vinicius Junior played out to the right. And he's managed to get rid. Turns back here, probably the best option. Out to the right. Threads one in. The ball is loose, and the chase is on. A strong challenge, but well within the laws. That's a good run down the left. So, what can they make of this? Move forward, and quickly so. Allison can claim that. Adem Militao. Lucas Paqueta is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Yeah, they've set out to man-mark him now, but this is an embarrassing example of too little too late. Lerma. Now it's Diaz. Oh, lovely bit of skill. And the shot! It's run loose, who's going to get there? Great defending, strong and determined. Bore! No mistake! Just one goal in it now! Game on! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. He had the whole picture in his head, Peter. He didn't even look at the goalkeeper. We have got ourselves a game here. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. No unnecessary risks, and the game is petering out here.
Diaz. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Colombia have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Lucas Paqueta. Rafinha. Brazil certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Oh, that's a nice ball. And that was very necessary. And that's it.